Welcome to the Missouri Arctic. <laughs> so, uh, we've had some super, super cold weather. Uh, my local news app was like, your toes are frozen. My local news app was like, colder temperatures than we've had in 130 years. So we got like six inches of snow a couple of days ago. Then this morning it dumped, I'm going to say four inches at least. Uh, I'll show you guys the porch rail. See that brown part right there? That's a two by four. And the snow's there, a bit of two of them. And then some, it looks like. Uh, now I know it's not actually two, it's like one in some change probably. Uh, so I'd say a good four inches anyhow. Giving us a total of somewhere around 10 inches of snow. And Luella, she has never seen snow like this. <laughs> and she wanted to come feed critters this morning with us, or with me. And so she's out here feeding critters. And uh, you guys can see the snow's up to her knees, man. It's plenty deep. I want to talk about this morning dressing in layers so she's got a bunch of layers on she looks like the michelin man uh, i got a bunch of layers on this morning um so even as cold as it is and this morning's warm yesterday morning it was negative 10 uh whenever i got up so uh this morning's way warmer uh than it was yesterday morning um it's at least i don't know it's probably it's probably 10 degrees or something like that out here it's a heat wave but um so tromping around this snow right i've just got on like a pair of jeans uh a t-shirt a long sleeve shirt this flannel my bibs and some gloves right luella's got on uh jeans and sweatpants and thermals and a couple pairs of socks and a couple of gloves uh, and a big heavy coat and a hat and so got her bundled up this morning we ain't been out here that long just long enough to get the animals took care of um one of the things that's good about having little animals like chickens and rabbits is, um, so for the rabbits, I've just had to put bowls in there, right? Some old cake pans we had. And I just knock the ice out of them uh, every morning. It ain't too bad. And then for the baby rabbits, um, the waterer, uh, it's just one of those like chicken waterers, uh, one of those ones with the red plate on the bottom, uh, tip it upside down, gravity deal. Uh, I bring it inside by the wood stove at night. And uh, the chickens, I made, uh, I took a, old vinegar bottle and drilled a couple holes in the bottom put those uh, little nipples in that they peck and the water drips out <laughs> and i bring it in every night and thaw it out uh, at the wood stove so it makes it pretty uh, simple but um one of the best things you can do especially here in missouri is dress in layers man uh, we don't usually have weather this cold uh, a lot of times when you wake up uh, it's a lot warmer or a lot colder i mean and then the day warms up to like 40 or uh, 30 or th between 30 and 50 degrees and uh, you don't need near as many layers when you're working uh, like that so dress up in layers bundle up in layers you'll be a lot happier individual I know you made your big first snow angel didn't you yeah, yeah you'll make another one something else I want to talk about I want to talk about getting the kids involved it's something we try to do a lot. Now, yesterday morning when it was negative 10, I didn't get her out. Um, but today, it's a little bit warmer. <laughs> Let her get out and play in the snow a little bit. It's not going to hurt her. We're not going to be out here all that long. She's not going to get frostbit or a cold or nothing like that, right? Just for a few minutes, let her get out, play in the snow. Uh, we'll go inside, drink some warm coffee here in a little bit. You want to drink some warm coffee later? Uh-huh, yeah. We'll drink some warm coffee and get warmed up. So, I made my wood splitting video before all this bad weather came. I feel bad for folks. Be praying for folks around Texas and Oklahoma especially. They've been in a bad way down there. But um, folks here in Missouri too, right? And they've had these rolling blackouts. Uh, trying to conserve energy and all that good stuff. And I'm not sure, 100% sure, how the electrical grid system works. I don't know where our power comes from. I know everybody buys power from everybody, uh, and eventually it comes to our house, and I pay the last person, right? I get that. 
Um, but this is one of the reasons why we have a cast iron wood stove in the house. Um, anytime somebody talk, talks about getting an outdoor wood stove, they're awesome. Uh, I don't have anything against them, right? They're, they're a great, great heat source. However, two things. A, they're really expensive. And B, um, I can't heat my house without some sort of electric if I have one of them. And uh, I can cook on ours. Uh, I can heat up water on ours if we want to take a, a warm bath. Um, I can make coffee. I can make tea. We cooked a pot of beans on it yesterday. Um, so is it a little bit of a mess? Sure, it, it's a mess. Um, is it uh, the safest thing in the whole wide world? Maybe not. Um, ours per our insurance recommendations right is three foot away from everything flammable and then um, we clean the wood stove flue out regularly uh, we do everything we can to make sure it's as safe as possible i don't really think it's probably any more dangerous than any other heating system uh, and um, the only thing is like i guess right is you just gotta watch your kids but um, kids have a good way once you get the wood stove good and hot and you teach them to stay away from it it's so hot that they don't want to get that close to it and so that helps and um but but we can do about anything we need to on it even that little old cast iron wood stove uh, it's not perfect i'm not going to bake brownies in it but uh, we can make do uh, in hard times and so anytime anyone talks about getting an outdoor wood stove uh, i always uh, try to tell them like listen uh, i'm not trying to talk you out of it. it's a good thing but have you considered you know how you're going to cook and your electric and uh, whether or not you're going to have electric in an ice storm. Ice storms are more prevalent around here, right? Uh, or if the power goes out, what are you going to do? Uh, how are you going to do it? You're going to be able to make your food and all that good stuff. I know it's a mess. I know it's a little bit harder, but it has been good to have uh, during this. Now, our power hasn't went out uh, here at the house, but they've talked about it a few different times, but they never have done it. Um, we also burn oil lamps. Uh, it's something we do regularly. We enjoy it. Uh, anyway, we like the light. Uh, it helps us have an evening wind down. Uh, it's comfortable. It's cozy. Uh, honestly, even this time of year, they put off a little bit of heat. Not a lot. You're not going to heat your house with them, but they do put off a little bit of heat. Um, a jug of lamp oil at Walmart's uh, right now, a half a gallon is like eight bucks, right? So we have a couple of them lamps around, a few of them lamps around. Um, anyway, we like them. We enjoy them. We burn them anyhow. But they're good to have uh, on times like this. So guys, uh, you can do a lot. So we're headed a direction in our life uh, we feel led to be on where we're not as um, dependent. We're trying to learn how to grow enough food uh, to feed ourselves and be self-sufficient with our food and then have enough to uh, share as well, right? Have enough to give out to people and uh, maybe help some people in need and those kinds of things. Um, and that's fun and it's a good time, but it's more than that also. It is... Uh, being able to uh, have the things you need whenever everything uh, doesn't go the way you think it will, right? Uh, it's nice to have. And so uh, I hope you guys uh, will spend a little bit of time. Uh, you can do a lot, right? So we don't, we don't know, we, we haven't grown enough food uh, to feed us, right? I, we don't, we're not protein sufficient. We're not vegetable sufficient as far as uh, doing it all ourselves. We still have to go to the store and all that kind of stuff. But just a couple of things, and it's baby steps, right? If you're thinking about living a lifestyle like we're trying to live, uh, it's all about baby steps. Uh, you're not going to probably, uh, most people don't have the finances just to do it all in one shot, right? But the wood stove, uh, the rabbits, the chickens. You found the grass, didn't you? Yeah. Lamp oil. Uh, all of that good stuff. A few oil lamps. They're cheap. They're beautiful. It's a pretty light. I found more. You found more grass. You dug all the way down to it. Yeah. Here's a good way to show you about how much snow we got. Here's wow. Rella digging down in it right there. So I'd say there's a good 10 inches plus there. Cover it back up. So just imagine if you had um, just a wood stove, right? And then maybe um, just oil lamps and a wood stove, right? So now you've got heat and you've got light if things go bad. Uh, you maybe have a way to cook. You maybe have a way to heat up some water. Um, now, uh, let's imagine maybe you get a few chickens, right? And you start getting um, sufficient just on your eggs, right? Uh, 
and you learn how to feed those chickens uh, and you also learn how to uh, what scraps you can give them and all that to drive your feed cost down uh, then let's say maybe you add a few rabbits now you're adding some protein maybe you grow a little bit of a garden right these are all baby steps that can be taken obviously some chunks are you know putting in a wood stove is going to cost you a little bit more up front uh, than other things in the oil lamps right so maybe you start off with oil lamps right maybe that's your starting point um, once again, it's kind of like dressing in layers, right? It's layer upon layer and bit by bit. Uh, and slowly but surely, you can start being a lot more uh, sufficient, even on a very low budget, right, guys? We don't, uh, we don't have a lot of money. Uh, we're able to, uh, by the grace of God, uh, be able to um, get a few things like that along the way here and there. Uh, and we've had a lot of things like my family used to have a bunch of antiques and they had some oil lamps right and they're like here use them and so we put them to work and uh, those kinds of things and so um, once again right just like you would dress in layers uh, to be prepared that way if you get a little bit warm you can take a layer off you get a little bit cold you put a layer on same way uh, with being prepared in the same way with understanding um, how to be sufficient with things right just layer by layer by layer we're starting off with small animals our goal is to get good at small animals to get really good uh, and learn how to produce the best we can uh, in the most flavorful food and the best tasting food with our rabbits and our chickens and then move up uh, to bigger animals right those are uh, uh, part of our uh, growing right I've already learned this year I don't like uh, having my grow outs on the ground in the winter time. It's just not a good situation. I don't like it. And so I'm going to try to figure out a way to build some stands or something to set them up on in the winter time. Then in the summertime, I want to try to set them back down on the ground where they can eat grass and stuff easier. Um, but I don't have a whole bunch to do all at once, right? I'm not trying to learn uh, milk cows and pigs and milk goats and rabbits and chickens and wood and gardens and all of that all in one shot, right? Um, layer by layer and bit by bit and piece by piece and you start to accumulate some of this knowledge and understanding and it helps, right? Uh, it's a good thing. And so that's the reason why I've got Luella out playing in the snow. So it's more than playing. She understands what it takes to get out and feed the critters in this type of weather. Do these type of things. Are you having fun, sweet pea? Are you having a good time? That's really what matters. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching. I tried to record feeding the animals and stuff earlier and to tromp around in like 10 inches of snow, feed water, I'm having to haul water to the rabbits uh, and the, the ones in the bowls where I take a little gallon jug and fill it up and uh, Luella and all of that is just too much. I couldn't do it all. Uh, so uh, I wasn't layered up right I was uh, had too much on in one shot is it good does it taste good yeah we'll make some snow ice cream later okay Ooh, maybe we'll make a video right so uh, anyhow uh, stay tuned uh, please like and subscribe to our page if you like the content that you see I know there's not a whole lot going on just me talking today uh, Luella playing but um, that's part of it, right? Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch up to you later.